Step back 200 years in time and experience early life in Peterborough County. From Lang Pioneer Village, here's Harrison Perkins. Yes, well, thank you very much. I am back here at Lang Pioneer Village. The leaves on the trees around the mill pond here have changed drastically since the last time I was here at Apple Fest. Taking a look outside, you know, you have red, orange, and yellow leaves all here along the historic Indian River and another event coming up this weekend and next weekend as well, the Spooky Halloween at Lang Pioneer Village. And Assistant Manager Lori Siblock joins me on the phone. She's working from home today. Hello, Lori. Hi, Harrison. Uh, good to talk to you again. Certainly things have changed a lot since uh, the last time we talked. Yeah, so I guess we have another event slowly winding down the 2012 season. We have this event and then the Christmas event later on in December. But we'll talk about this event today taking place this weekend. And if you want to tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I'd love to, Harrison. Uh, we've got our spooky Halloween event coming up. We're having a lot of fun right now, turning the village into a spook fest, basically. It's uh, one of the most unusual and fun events that we do here. The village at night is spooky enough as it is, and when you add all the themes and props and eerie things that we set up for everyone, then it really gets spooky <laughs> around here. The event is not intended to be terrifying or it's weird really geared towards families with young kids, anywhere from two up to, I'd say, 12, 13 years of age, perfect for young families. It's not too scary. It's, like we say in the title, spooky. Yeah, and it's great as well, and especially, you know, as we say, at night, too, it is extremely eerie to be around there, and then, as you say, adding in to the factor as well of setting it up as a spooky event and not scary by any means, so I encourage everyone to check it out. We've really tried to bring lots of new and interesting things to the event this year, and one of the great things we're excited about is that we've got a dark den of bats this year. Harrison, and uh, we've got the Center for the Conservation of Specialized Species are bringing live bats. And Chris Catola tells me that there's even a bat that kids can touch if they dare. <laughs> that would be great. That would be really hands-on as well, and especially to see, you know, you see bats flying around the the county all the time but as far as being close up it'll be uh, something that uh, it'll be neat for sure yeah up close and personal with a bat and we've also are bringing a storyteller in that is going to teach everyone about the origins of halloween and she's got a eerie canadian tale to share as well sounds good anything else you want to add yeah i guess i would just add harrison that uh, or or reiterate that it's the event is on this friday and saturday evening october 19th and 20th and next friday and saturday evening the 20th 26th and 27th from 6 to 9 p.m. and dress in costume and come out for all the eerie sights and sounds uh, for a frightfully fun frolic. <laughs> well thank you very much Lori and I'll see you on Friday. That's all the time we have for this week for all of us here at Lang Pioneer Village. I'm Harrison Perkins. Thank you for listening. For more information like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or visit our website langpioneervillage.ca.